quiet your mind and help you to understand, you know, where is this belief coming from that's, that's uh, directing the reality that I'm experiencing. Um, I think a lot of times in, in everyday waking consciousness, we allow ourselves to become distracted by too many of the things that we're experiencing either on a superficial level uh, or that are taking our focus away from addressing some of the deeper issues. Uh, and as a consequence, we end up sometimes sort of going on autopilot where the beliefs are concerned. And that's going to end up resulting in a reality in which you know, you're not happy with the results that you're seeing. So what you need to do then is, is learn how to take the time to become quiet and still in your mind and take a deeper look at what some of the beliefs are that are directing the reality that you're experiencing and assessing for yourself, is that what I want to keep or is that something I want to change? Yeah, and I, I agree with everything you're saying. And uh, this is what's interesting about spirituality and interesting about metaphysics. However, I think what it boils down to is most people are confused, Brent. Well, um, um, there's probably a good many who are confused. I, I think a big, a big part of it is that uh, they maybe haven't allowed themselves to be exposed to um, teachings that are going to help them to sort things out. Again, either because of distractions or um, you know, they may have been brought up in a particular religious tradition or a particular philosophical tradition that basically you know, dictates to them this is how you live your life and that's all there is to it. You never question it. Uh, and if they buy into that and adhere to that particular belief, then you know, they may never take the time to take a look uh, at what they've been taught and to understand whether or not it suits their needs and whether or not they want to change it. Yeah, the other, the, way, the other way of saying that, Brent, is people are trying to play basketball not even knowing what the rules of basketball is, nor what a basketball is. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd agree with you there. <laughs> so immediately, game is over. Well, either that or it keeps going into endless sessions of overtime, one or the other. <laughs> well, it's an endless loop. <laughs> Recreating from the past. Tomorrow well, that's true. Just and, like I, and I think that's, I think that's where we do get a lot of our beliefs. You know, they end up coming to us, you know, in childhood. Um, we, we, you know, we end up uh, embracing them and um, never looking back to question them uh, as we grow into adulthood. Uh, in some cases, I think it may come down to the fact that these ideas are given to us by, you know, quote-unquote authority figures, be they teachers or parents or other older relatives. And, you know, if we have respect for them or love for them, we may not want to take a look back at the beliefs that they gave us because we're either afraid of betraying them or we're afraid we'll be punished if we don't follow what they said. And we just, um, you know, we put the tapes on autopilot and let them run throughout the rest of our lives. Well, the thing is, those beliefs may serve you in some ways, or they may not. And if they don't serve you, then you end up stuck in uh, patterns of behavior and patterns of experience that aren't necessarily going to serve you to the way that you'd like to be served. Um, that's when it becomes incumbent upon us to say, to sit down and say to ourselves, what am I really thinking and believing?